Join me in prayer right now, and let's call upon the name of the Lord for releasing and breakthrough. You are walking a blessed path. Pay attention to the signs around you. The blood moon eclipse, which caused the fear and awe of ancient people, is bringing change and divine enlightenment today. The Bible relates this type of eclipse to the end of the world, since it is one of the signs that the final judgment is drawing near. There are several passages that describe it, for example, in Acts 2.20. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. Also in Revelation 6.12, there was a great earthquake. The sun turned black like a sackcloth made of goat hair, the whole moon turned blood red, and the stars in the sky fell to earth. But the spiritual meaning of this blood moon is born from the energy of the sun and the moon. This is a cosmic seed on the threshold of a new awakened consciousness. It is the purification of the instincts, it is the connection with your inner being. Are you ready to activate the awakening of this cosmic event? Are you ready for ascension to the highest form of existence? Listen to the divine light codes hidden in these verses. And go beyond your limits and achieve the cosmic consciousness of God. Ephesians 5.14 For anything that becomes visible is light. Therefore it says, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Affirm. I am awake. Proverbs 4 6-7 Do not forsake wisdom, and she will protect you, love her, and she will watch over you. Wisdom is supreme, therefore get wisdom. Though it cost all you have, get understanding. Affirm. I am wisdom. Matthew 5:14. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Affirm. I am full illumination. Colossians 3.14 And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Affirm. I am love. Psalm 51.1 have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion blot out my transgressions. Affirm. I am compassion. Psalm 23 4 Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Affirm. I am comfort. John 8 32 Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Affirm. I am truth. Jeremiah 30 17 But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds. Affirm. I am healing. type amen to receive this blessing the bible says ask and it will be given to you seek and you will find knock and the door will be open to you you can experience miracles in your life when you invite god to intervene say this prayer every day until your miracle is granted this prayer works even in situations that seem impossible you can always approach God with confidence if you trust in His Son, Jesus Christ. So don't hesitate to pray about anything, including miracles. Pray this way three times every day. You will receive a miracle soon. O oh God, your ways are holy. Is there any God as mighty as you? You are the God of great wonders. You demonstrate your awesome power among the nations. Father, help me remember today that you are who you say you are. You are holy, 
mighty, and powerful. You are my Creator, Redeemer, and Comforter. You are gracious, merciful, and loving. You are my way and the truth I need. You are my hope for the future. You are the God of miracles, the one for whom nothing is impossible. And Father, I need a miracle and so I lay my problem before you asking for your grace and mercy. Please strengthen me today and help me keep my focus on you rather than on this thing that is overwhelming me. Please strengthen me and give me everything I need, so whatever you decide, even if you don't grant this miracle, I will rest secure knowing my hope is in you alone. Father, I trust your will. I am secure in your perfect love and I will praise you now and forever and even then. It will never be enough. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Your miracle is on the way. Never lose faith in God. God loves us and we can trust him that his plan is good. His plan might mean pain and loss and disappointment but we can trust his plan. Even if we don't hear God or see an answer, we know that God hears our prayers. By going to Him, we are handing over our burdens and fears. He loves to hear from us and just the act of prayer makes our load lighter. Watch this video until the end and listen to this important message. This knowledge can really produce amazing changes in your life, and very quickly. The subconscious mind is a habit mind. Poverty is a habit, and wealth too. But wealth is a very good and uplifting habit, and poverty is a very bad and highly destructive habit. Today I encourage you to foster in you the habit of wealth. Your subconscious mind will accept whatever idea you suggest to it in a state of certainty, excitement, and faith. We can create and establish in us the habit of wealth if we are constantly thinking about it, involving positive emotions and experiencing it as a reality. We can achieve this through repetition. Every morning when you wake up you will repeat these words 100 times. I am prosperity. If you wish, the first few days you can count on the fingers of your hands until you reach 100 repetitions. Calculate the time it takes to do it. Then simply repeat I am prosperity for the approximate time it takes you to say it 100 times. Just make sure you repeat these words no less than 100 times. If you do it at a normal pace, it will take you about 3 minutes to do it. It is important to mention that you must express these words with emotion. It will be useless to repeat them mechanically and coldly. Try to feel the emotion, as your subconscious mind will only accept emotionally charged ideas. To achieve this, think that those words are a reality and that you have abundant resources in your life right now. Capture that feeling and hold it as you repeat the words. The law of prosperity is already operating within your mind, right now. I am prosperity. This is the key to unlock prosperity. Repeat it over and over again until you displace all limiting thoughts. Write in your comment I am prosperity. You are blessed. Watch this message now to continue expanding your wisdom. The Bible is the most important book in the world. In it, you can find answers to everything. But have you ever stopped to think about what is the most powerful verse in the Bible? The most powerful passage in the Bible is in the book of Genesis. It says that God created everything in seven days, six days exactly, and on the seventh day he rested. The number six is the number of family, of love, and by completing human creation on the sixth day, God expressed all his love for us. On the seventh day he rested. Seven is the number of reflection, of contemplation. The most powerful part of the Bible is found in Genesis, chapter 1 verses 26-31, which says, Then God said, 
Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind in his own image. This means that God does not see us as inferior to him. When you have a child, you want the best for him. You want it to be your pride. You were created by God, so God is within you right now. And God allowed the man he created to dominate all the animals on earth. This translates into abundance. God created all, and said it is yours, enjoy it. God created man in his own image, that is, with the same power to co-create in this universe. God blessed all of creation and gave us permission to enjoy, dominate, and expand. That is why this passage of the Bible is so important. Because the person who believes and decides to follow God's advice will never experience suffering, poverty or pain. This person will live in constant joy, enjoying unlimited abundance, because he or she will be connected to the purpose that God gave them, which is simply to be happy. You have the power of God within you, waiting to be awakened. You can fulfill all the desires of your heart. Type God is with me, if you agree. Pray with me right now. We are going to be praying in Jesus' name standing in the Word of God for deliverance and miracles. Listen to this prayer and the impossible will be fulfilled for you today. Then they raised the Lord in their trouble, and He saved them from their distress. He sent out His Word from Him and healed them, I have rescued them from the grave. Psalm 107 19-29 Before beginning, write the following, Lord, I cling to you, for you there is no impossible. Lord, it is true that you have worked so many miracles in my life. If I were to try to recount all the times you have saved me, delivered me, rescued me, gotten me out of trouble, put me on a right path, and blessed me when I didn't deserve it, I wouldn't have enough time to recite them all. So how could I ever question that you would be with me right now in my present challenge? Of course you are with me and will help me. Forgive me for being so hard-hearted as to forget what you have already done for me. And I thank you right now that you are going to help me this time too. Now, write your request in the comments to make it more effective. Your power and strength are sitting right in my house. Forgive me for not spending enough time in my Bible to tap into the power that is held within it. Starting today, I want to make your word a priority in my life. When I am tempted to be lazy and to put off reading my Bible, please help me say no to my flesh. Help me choose to pick up my Bible and read it whether I feel like it or not, taking it deep into my heart and letting the power inside the word begin to work in me and in my situation. I thank you for the ministry of the Holy Spirit and for his powerful gifts that make Jesus so real to me. Help me understand my need for the Spirit's gifts. Arouse a spiritual hunger inside me that makes me earnestly yearn to experience more of these gifts in my life and in my church. I know you gave the gifts of the Spirit because we need them, so today I am choosing to open my heart so I can experience more of your power as these supernatural gifts begin to flow through me. I pray this in Jesus' name. Subscribe to our channel and leave your comment. Type your petition in the comments so that your prayer will be more effective. Welcome, my name is Darius, and today we will say a miraculous prayer to change your life. Watch this entire video and stand in faith with me as I pray for you. I invite you to read this psalm so you can repeat it every night. If you do this, you will see miracles in your life. This psalm can rewire your subconscious mind to manifest those miracles. As a psalm of protection, 
It is commonly invoked in times of hardship. Though no author is mentioned in the Hebrew text of this psalm, Jewish tradition ascribes it to Moses, with David compiling it in his book of Psalms. After listening to this psalm for 21 nights in a row, no terror of night shall defeat you. No arrow that flies by day shall locate you. You shall abide under the shadow of the Most High. You shall count gains and not losses. No matter the number of enemies that surround you, they shall fail and expire. You shall fly with wings of God far above your expectation. You are great and lucky to come across this secret. You are wonderful in the eyes of God. This psalm is a favor provoked. If you dwell in the secret place of the Most High, you will be favored above your enemy. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge, His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For He will command His angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways, they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Declaration of Faith I live out my life in satisfaction with a full number of days, and will die at a ripe old age with riches and honor as an inheritance for my posterity. I shall see the enemy fall in a great destruction, for the battle belongs to the Lord. Despite the battles that I must endure, my Father showers me with an endless supply of blessings. I seek the Lord with all of my heart and place His ways at the center of my thoughts. He has become my refuge and deliverance from every fear. He has made me to be radiant and to hold my head up high. My confidence in Him is greatly rewarded, and I am never put to shame. He hears my every prayer and delivers me out of every trouble. His angel has been assigned to me to minister to all of my needs and give me provision and abundance in every circumstance. He encamps about me and fulfills God's purposes for me. Experience has proven that the Lord is good. I take my refuge in Him, and I am blessed. I have placed my steadfast confidence in Him, and I lack no good thing in my life. Even the strongest in the world can become weak and hungry, but I am sustained and given great strength to persevere in every situation. In this video, I want you to declare that it's your miracle day. Today we are going to talk about a prayer to attract success, triumphs and happiness. We all want success in our lives, triumph in our goals and happiness until the end of our days. Today I bring you a very powerful short prayer. If you say it every day, it will bring all the success that you have always wanted all those triumphs that you yearn for, and all the happiness that your life needs. I decree, health for my body, harmony in my home, love in my relationships, prosperity in my work, intelligence in my decisions, peace in my mind, 
security for myself and all my loved ones, and intense happiness and abundance in my life, and everyone's. It is done. Thank you. Amen. I decree, health for my body, harmony in my home, love in my relationships, prosperity in my work, intelligence in my decisions, peace in my mind, security for myself and all my loved ones, and intense happiness and abundance in my life, and everyone's. It is done. Thank you. Amen. You must repeat this prayer every day when you wake up and when you go to bed, so that it stays in your mind forever. You will attract success, triumphs and happiness forever to your life, and to that of everyone around you. Remember that the most important thing is the feeling you put into the prayer. Do it in happiness, feel that pleasant energy of doing the prayer. May you feel good and grateful because the important thing is how you feel doing this prayer. This way you can spread all that energy to the whole world and to everyone who has this same intention. Let's ask the Lord Jesus Christ to enter our hearts and bless our lives. I will be standing in faith with you as we pray together today. The Lord wants to give you His presence, His love and hope. It doesn't matter what situation you're going through. The Lord will never reject you and He will never abandon you. Jesus will always be your best friend. On this day you will achieve everything you set out to do, because with God nothing is impossible. Get all thoughts of doubt out of your mind. Believe with all your heart and hold on to the promises of God. Trust that your future will be wonderful, and you will receive good things. Don't give up and never stop believing. Keep trusting and live each day with the certainty that God opens new doors of blessing. Let God take full control. He is your healer. God is the one who protects and cares for you at all times, and in all places. Rest in His arms. Remember that God has the last word, that His power is unique, and that He can change everything for you. Pray this prayer. Loving Father, Help me to cultivate spiritual disciplines, so I am more able to receive what you have to tell me, and more willing to do what you require. May I not only come to you with my needs, my praise, and my thanksgiving, but make a habit of spending time in worshipful listening. Help me not allow the distractions of social media and the busyness of life drown out your still small voice. Help me be guided in all things by you, rather than my own imperfect judgment. Let your spirit speak words of wisdom and guidance over my life today. You promised a comforter who will be with me every step of the way to guide me and supply what I need. Be with me, Father. Help me speak the right words, make the right choices, and choose the right opportunities. Making decisions can be confusing. Holy Spirit, don't allow me to make mistakes. Help me determine which direction will open the right doors and cause productive relationships to flourish. Amen. Today, leave behind everything that has caused pain in your life. It's time to move forward and enjoy everything that God wants to put in your hands. Live every minute of this day to the fullest, because it will be a day full of hope, victory, blessing, happiness, health, love, peace, and abundance. God will move everything in your favor and give you new opportunities. Nothing and no one can stop the miracles He has for you. On this day, don't worry. Do not fear, because God is with you. Angel Message for You be open to things miraculously changing for you. All the little things you do every day matter. All the tiny goals you set for yourself matter. Because all these things will lead you to your success and happiness. So, don't you give up. Even if one day you don't feel like doing it. The most important thing is that you come back to your goals. Say the gratitude affirmation. 
I am happy and grateful for the abundance of goodness that is present in my life. Message just for you. You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. Today's scripture. God will heal my broken heart. Your angel is sending you a blessing. Type Amen to receive it. Type Amen if you feel abundant. Watch this important message right now.